Alright, so if you follow my channel or you follow basically any Call of Duty news, you would know that hashtag BO3 Fridays comes with a punch. We are getting new information every single Friday until the release of Black Ops 3. Now, I'm going to recap what I learned and what you could have learned if you watched it from yesterday. And basically the big three things. I'm just going to talk about three things. They're huge and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. So, first off, Redwood. Redwood is a new map which I believe is going to be amazing. I can already look from the gameplay that was shown from it and kind of the still images or video tour that we got from the map and just the general description. It looks like it's going to be really fun, really balanced, and a key thing about this map is that it was the last map made that's coming with the game. So, you know, it's going to have all bugs fixed. You know, it's going to be pretty much amazing. It's going to be tailored for jumping wall running and I think it's gonna be pretty much fun you know I, it's probably gonna be the map that I vote for just because of how cool it is I think the redwoods are amazing or the redwood forest is amazing and you know it, it, endless possibilities for black ops 3 I'm glad they did this next we're gonna be talking about the new specialist character forgive me I do not know his name but he is a pyro he has a flamethrower as his assault and a what is it? It's like a defense field almost as his like specialist strictly for him. You know, I'm not too sure what they call that yet, but um, I kind of think of it like specialist kill streaks or score streaks, whatever you want to call them. It's like they kind of help you, but they don't really help anyone else. And uh, it's what I like, you know, it's not lethal. It's just helping you get more gun kills, which that's usually all I run in Black Ops 3 or the beta at least because assault kills are it's kind of like using this kill streak except you get it every few minutes depending on what it is but you know it's pretty cool his is awesome it's a flamethrower and i'm a big fan of the flamethrower and i cannot wait to see what it looks like on next generation because in world at war and black ops 1 it was phenomenal like no stutters the flames looked amazing if i do add so or say so myself and just kind of knowing where we've been and knowing what we have to work with it's gonna be amazing now his next thing is specialist like I say is like a force field and basically what that does is it stuns anyone in a radius around him it destroys electronics and it allows that person that's you know, whoever the flamethrower guy is like I said I'm not too sure on his name right now the pyro um, can kill them easily they're just standing still, they're concussed, and they don't really know what they're doing, you know, like, what's happening, I'm flashed, and David Von Hart explained this as, and I don't really like his expression, I'm gonna give it my own, tell me what you guys think, he says, it's like being inside of a building that's nice and air-conditioned, and then walking outside when it's like 100 degrees, you know, I do know that feeling he's talking about, it's like, wow, I just closed the door and let's come back inside, but I think a better thing, and from the gameplay that I saw, is kind of like, like whenever you're cooking something in the oven and you open that oven door down and it feels like your face is about to melt off I'm pretty sure that is what he was going for but you know summer day is just hot and sweaty and you just want to come back inside that just you get freaked out there's a moment of freak out where you're like oh my god where's my eyebrows and I feel like that's what this character is going to do. Now, our third and last thing that we're going to talk about, maybe I'll think of another thing, is the fact that diamond camo is coming back but it's not the best and I mean it's nothing too big because if you think about it in advanced warfare the guns could become diamond but if you had all guns in a certain set you know diamond kind of replaced gold and um, royalty camo replaced diamond and I mean that's really cool but that means we're going even further down in the tier like gold means nothing now which is kinda it's kinda sad because if you think about it what is diamonds gonna be gold except it's not gonna be gold it's like gonna be worse than gold because diamond is gold and then this new camo that they're gonna have would be the diamond and then gold is kinda drifted away especially in advanced warfare uh, that first couple of weeks if you played the game if you had the game then 
you would know everyone was sporting gold. I think it was like 100 kills without attachments, and it was so easy. Like, I don't even think I use attachments until I got like the uh, extended clip and grip, and I was just diamonding or golding all of my guns, and then carbon fiber was right there. All you had to do was take off all your perks, or maybe it was vice versa, who knows, but hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys are ready for black ops 3 because i am stoked i cannot wait till the game comes out we are at 27 days we are in the 20s and we've been in the 20s for a little bit but i just you know i haven't really pieced it together 27 days guys i cannot wait so hopefully you guys follow me follow me subscribe to me whatever you want to do follow me if you're on twitter my twitter name is you can either search me through aaron11 or 44r011 my old youtube name or like always all links will be down in the description so go ahead and check those out go ahead and hit the like button subscribe I cannot wait. I'm almost at 1.3 thousand subscribers. Thank all of you guys. Just let's win something together. All right? Peace.